What is capitalism? Easy. Capitalism is freedom and democracy. Unless we try to use that freedom and democracy to vote in a people-centered government that challenges capitalism in any way. Like in Chile in 1973 when Salvador Allende, the democratically elected socialist president, was ousted from office and replaced by the fascist Augusto Pinochet in a CIA-backed coup. But don't get me wrong, capitalism is freedom and democracy for some people, just not us. Democracy for an insignificant minority. Democracy for the rich. That is the democracy of capitalist society. Normal working people don't get a say on how our workplaces are run, the places where we spend most of our waking lives. We don't get a say in what homes are built where and who gets to live in them. In fact, we don't get a meaningful say in the day-to-day -day runnings of our societies at all. The only thing we do get is the opportunity to choose a representative of the ruling class once every four or five years to administer capitalist rule. And if we attempt to venture outside those narrow confines, then you better believe it'll be time for the international capitalist class to mount a CIA-backed coup to bring us even more freedom and democracy. So, let's be honest. Capitalism? Not all it's cracked up to be. Now, what the feck is it? Well, let's find out. Welcome to Socialism 101, a series designed to help educate people with no prior knowledge on the basics of socialism and communism from an explicitly Marxist-Leninist and Marxist-Leninist Maoist perspective with short and hopefully easily digestible videos. If this sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell below. Now, so far in this series, we've learned that capitalism is a stage of historical development between feudalism and socialism. We've also talked a bit about capitalism's relations of production. Workers sell their labour power through wage labour, and capitalists purchase this in order to make more profits. From this we can build a basic understanding of capitalism. Capitalism is a system of private ownership of the means of production for the purpose of extracting profits, or surplus value, produced by wage labourers. Now, how did we get here? Well, our old friend Karl Marx said that this system becomes inevitable from the moment there is a free sale by the labourer himself of labour power as a commodity. But it is also only from then onwards that commodity production is generalised and becomes the typical form of production. It is only from then onwards that, from the first, every product is produced for sale and all wealth produced goes through the sphere of circulation. Now, under earlier systems like feudalism, there was also a limited amount of simple commodity production. Like if you grew some food for yourself but you weren't able to eat it all so you sold the leftovers. But this production under earlier systems was generally for use. Capitalism developed out of feudalism as commodity production started small but then grew with the rise of the bourgeoisie and became generalised as the typical form of production. To the extent that commodity production, in accordance with its own inherent laws, develops further into capitalist production, the property laws of commodity production change into the laws of capitalist appropriation. As we see this transition from feudalism to capitalism, we also see massive legal changes in society that allow for the free trade of both the means of production and labour power, which itself now becomes a commodity. The capitalist epoch is characterised by the fact that labour power, in the eyes of the worker himself, takes on the form of a commodity which is his property. His labour consequently takes on the form of wage labour. It is only from this moment that the commodity form of the products of labour becomes universal. So when you've got private ownership of the means of production, when you've got generalised commodity production, and when you've got capitalists making profits from workers through wage labour, you've got capitalism. And that can manifest in more of a free market oriented form like in the United States, or a slightly more controlled social democratic form like in Norway. Importantly, governments can and do engage in capitalism themselves, including commodity production, the extraction of surplus value through wage labour, etc. There's a common myth that socialism is when big government does things, making capitalism the opposite of that. But if that were the case, then Saudi Arabia would be socialist with its nationalised oil company and the large public sector. But, as we know, Saudi Arabia is, well, an absolute monarchy that in many ways embodies capitalism taken to many of its natural conclusions. Now, it was mentioned earlier that there are various stages of historical development. But within each stage, there are also various sub-stages. Within capitalism, we can identify three main sub-stages. Mercantile capitalism, that emerged from feudalism and primarily focused on controlling national and international trade. Industrial capitalism, which was dominant in the time when Karl Marx himself was writing and was characterised by a much sharper division of labour, heavy machinery, factories and so on. 
an imperialist capitalism, where capitalism has developed to such a point where capitalist monopolies rule the world. This is the substage that we still live under at the moment. We could go another level deeper again and talk about neoliberal capitalism as a stage within imperialist capitalism, a substage of a substage. But at that point we're mostly just splitting hairs as the underlying mechanisms of imperialist capitalism remain fundamentally unchanged. And don't worry, we're going to talk about all those underlying mechanisms in a later video dedicated specifically to imperialist capitalism. You're going to be sick of hearing about imperialism by the end of this series, if not already. Today we've looked at the meaning of capitalism as a system predicated on private ownership of the means of production, generalised commodity production, and wage labour, through which capitalists make profits from workers. We've also looked at the three main stages of capitalism, mercantile, industrial and imperialist. We also addressed the idea that capitalism is when small government, freedom and democracy. Which, eh, no. No, 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 no. So much no. Next up, what is socialism? Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you found it useful in one way or another. If you're able to support this work then please consider donating a euro or a dollar per month over on Patreon or a once-off donation over on Ko-fi. Links in the description box below. Thank you to Rare Hero, Cormac O'Brien, Dan Hunter, Red Corridor Raya, Christian Napalis, MLM in Practice, Comrade Romano, Jason, Michaela Schmid, Mamarius Hex, Ryan Hodgson, Don Lokrishleva, Gabriel Bailey, Lepanion, Huge Ass, The Royal Way Condition, Jess, Ian McShay, Dan Hunter, Soup, Pontus, Colin Walsh, Hagen Mitchells, Evan Crossland, Dot Dot, Borku Gorilla, Roja, and Daniel Hamilton. I wouldn't be able to make these videos without you, and I certainly wouldn't be able to pay my bills. Cheers everyone, I'll be